everyone and welcome back to my Do What You Love series. My name is Kia Cannons and I am an empowerment coach. And in this series, I have been giving you really quick little videos full of incredible exercises that get you really quickly to the answers that you need in order to pursue doing what you love in life and finding your purpose. So this week we're kind of rounding up a lot of the work that we've been doing in this video series so far. You see every week I've been getting you and encouraging you to kind of get a journal and do the different exercises and keep them somewhere safe. Today I'm going to encourage you to get all of those findings that you have been happening upon from the different exercises you've been doing over all the last weeks and months and I'm encouraging you to create a visual representation of these findings. Something like maybe a vision board. This is my one. And on this, this is all about the things that helped me to discover what I wanted to do with my life and how to do what I love. And it's something that I do every single year in order to keep tuning into exactly what's going on in here and what I'm feeling called to do, what I'm discovering about myself, what I'm overcoming and therefore how my life is opening up to new opportunities. And so everything that you've been doing in the different exercises can be represented visually in a vision board. So I'm talking about everything from what your favorite feelings are, remember we talked about that, to what your zone of genius statement is, your four tendencies, maybe you've looked at Gretchen Rubin's lovely quiz there and got to know a little bit more about your tendencies, um, everything that you're curious about, the environments in which you'll thrive in with your, the kind of lifestyle that you want, the people that you envy, gosh, the list goes on and on. But when you start to just take kind of the, the cream from each of those exercises you've looked at, like this is really the interesting points. These are the things that are going to inform how I want my life to look like while I pursue doing what I love. Then when you gather all of those different aspects together, you get a really fantastic picture. So for example, with mine, I can, let me just get myself into shot, okay. I can see that, you know, my favorite feelings, the ways that I want to feel are experiencing wonder, I want to feel awake, I want to feel guided, rested, free. Those are really, really key to me. I want to do what I love. Um, I've got here that, I mean, these are different things that I actually want to experience, but when I look at the kind of environments that I want to work in, I want to work in quiet and I want to have the courage to just let go. Um, I want to, what else have we got here? Um, you know, my zone of genius statement is that, uh, is motivating and energizing women with my encouraging spirit and communicating inspiring messages. I want to work in a creative environment that inspires me. I want to be alone most of the time. I want to share big, inspiring ideas. These are the kind of things that I want to experience and things I want to go to and the, the things I want to actually do. So, you know, you can do it any way you want. There is no rule with vision boards. So if you really want to get into this, obviously we cover this inside my Passion and Purpose course, inside my membership, Untold Happiness, where you get all the step-by-step -step instructions. And instead of getting little five to 10 minute videos every week, you will get proper modules in seven weekly installments that deep dive far more than these little weekly videos do and they accompany um, themselves with wonderful worksheets and workbooks and things like that. So, you know, this is just a suggestion and it really, really helps me to see things visually because I can see it very quickly whether my life is looking like this or not. And I can also very quickly be able to get my fingers on all those different bits of information that I discovered through the process in a really quick way because it's visual. Whereas if it's a case of, oh, am I happy? I've got to go back and look at all the different journaling that I did. It's gonna be a bit of an effort. Whereas if you can just take a lovely afternoon, get yourself all set up so it's a really nourishing, lovely thing to do, and visually collate all of that information, it means that in a snapshot you can look at it and think, is there anything that I've forgotten or that I've overlooked that I discovered through all of the inner discovery work. You see, I am somebody that is really, really big on not just doing the work, but actually doing it in a practical way so that it matters and that you are actually using the results that you've worked so hard to find because it's so it's so easy, I mean, to 
read things, listen to things, attend courses, and then do nothing with it. So this is the practical way that you can do something with all the work you've done so far inside this lovely series about doing what you love. So let me know how you get on with it. You can always drop me a line at hello at kiacans.com. And if anything that we do inside my membership sounds interesting, again, just check out the link below. There's a link that will take you to the page which tells you much more about it. And we can always jump on the phone for 10 minutes if you would like to have a quick chat to just discover whether it really is something that is a right fit for you. Okay, thanks for listening and I'll see you next week.